Hi guys, I'm Kiera. I'm your favorite memory keeping mama over at the Frame of Life Project. I'm popping on to IGTV today to create a little video about one of my favorite products um, from Pinhole Press, their uh, baby board books. Um, and I wanna talk to you all about them. So I figured it's easiest to just pop on here live and share with you a little bit about me and my story as we join together to really show you such an awesome product. So if you haven't heard of me yet, um, I'm currently 36 weeks pregnant. I am um, running a memory keeping business. I'm a photographer, a mom. I just am so passionate about documenting stories and creating unique ways to tell my family history for years to come. So let's talk about this one. This is Becoming a Big Sister. I, um, as I said, I'm 36 weeks pregnant. It's been kind of dawning on me that I'm going to go have a baby again. Um, and I have a three-year-old and I'm kind of freaked out about how I'm going to leave the house and be gone for a few days and how she's going to react to it. And I was really trying to come up with a way to tell my daughter about the process without it being scary. And all the books seem to just not fit completely. Like they're, they're just not personalized. So I've bought a bunch of them. I have the little critters having a baby. I have Daniel Tigers having a baby. They're all having sisters and Will is having a brother. So what are you going to do about that? <laughs> and I thought that she really does well with these board books. So she loves seeing pictures of herself and she loves hearing about herself. And I love documenting our life. So we put it all together into one product and this is what we came away with. Um, this Becoming book, I wrote a little story um, for Willa about the process of what's going to happen. And it's really just telling her like, yay, you're going to be a big sister. The baby's growing in mommy's tummy. It's going to be born. You're going to go to the hospital. And, uh, well, I'm going to go to the hospital and have the baby. And your grandparents are going to come watch you. You're going to go to school. And then if you're lucky, you can come to the hospital and see the baby. I mean, with corona scares right now, I don't even want to be in the hospital very long. So that might get mixed. And baby's going to come home. These are her favorite pages here. <laughs> the baby might cry a lot <laughs> and get sleepy or even hungry. <laughs> but she's going to be the best big sister ever. And what's been amazing about this book is since it arrived in the mail, she like ripped that envelope open, wanted to take this into her crib with her at night to be able to read it. And I've heard on her monitor her going through the story and like she keeps talking to me about it. Like every day she's like, mommy's going to go to the hospital and Juana and Papa are going to come watch me. I'm going to go to school. Like it's, it's just like amazing. Like so this story has helped her really start to see what's going to happen in the future. And it's really easing my like, major anxiety about leaving her so even though I feel like this is like a birth plan where all the things could go wrong I could be having my baby here at the house like who knows when I'm going like <laughs> you never know but at least we're trying to have a little plan and she's getting used to the process and I feel better at the same time um, so this was an awesome book I made it took like an hour to come up with the storyline find the pictures pop them in place the order and send it off and this thing was here in a week it's like just really awesome. So highly recommend this if you're expecting a baby and want a uh, unique idea for how to tell the sibling um, about it. And that's a fun one. Um, but the other part of this is like you can write a book about anything. So you can write a book about your vacation. You can write a book about your favorite um, meal. Like, I don't know, the recipes, you could put that in there. There's so many different ideas that you could do. The other one... Um, I was freaking out about because, you know, still nesting. <laughs> I thought that I'm having baby number two. Um, I probably should have a baby book already for number one. And um, I'm a memory keeper and I run like a memory keep keeping business. So like should probably have that done. <laughs> but I don't because I'm a real mom. And you know what? Like sometimes it doesn't happen. Like I have lots of bits and pieces kept everywhere, which is great. But it's time for things to start coming together. And that's where this book came in. Um, I've decided to really keep the simple, a uh, simple process for my baby books. And it's really a matter of me documenting some milestones in, in, um, notes that I take. I use a promptly journal book that every month I go through, um, in the first year and I write little milestones that have happened. And then after each year, you just, every year you write like 
a little bit about the person that you're raising. And it's not so intense. I haven't added my pictures in yet, so I don't have a picture baby book yet, and I really wanted one. So this kind, this book was like something really awesome that I could make. Um, it's Willa's first year. I just made this last week. She's three years old. So you don't have to make it that first year, <laughs> and it's okay. And honestly, I found that it was almost better. Like I was able to go through, I have all these memories of her when she's little. I've looked at her pictures a thousand billion times. I know what sticks out in my mind. So it was really easy for me to go through her pictures and be like, okay, this one is, let's see what month that is. Okay, perfect. I think of her at that age at this way. So I added that to the book. So I didn't keep it um, like baby on the blanket with the one month circle. Like this is very much a unique book and look at her at different times of her life. So when she's one month old, two months old, I mean, she grew so fast, man. <laughs> I'm like glad my babies come out like eventually because they would be so huge in me. <laughs> but you know, so this is like, I actually did a monthly series of photos with her on the chair with the dog for the whole year. And it was really fun. It's super challenging. The chairs swiveled, the dogs moved, the baby crawled, the baby walked. The baby <laughs> so it's really tough. I wouldn't totally recommend making it that challenging for yourself, but it's a unique way to get, um, your fur baby and your other baby in and use some props that you have around you that aren't just laying down flat because these kids move quick. <laughs> um, another great way to take a monthly photo is to have dad involved or your partner involved and have them hold the baby because then they can't move. <laughs> so we had a few of those. This is literally six months. So this kid is like on the go, ready to, ready to pop into the world <laughs> and take it over. And then started crawling. So I really started to try to think about these pictures um, that I included here, showing different milestones that she's having at those ages. And literally, look at those meatball legs. Oh, I miss them. <laughs> and then they started to go when she walked and when she started crawling and worked it all off. But her best bud was always there. <laughs> so these are just like fun ways to take a look at monthly photos. They don't have to be the same picture every month. They can be just ways you want to remember your little one and that show their personality and are really fun. So that's how I created this with that in mind. This book, again, took me maybe 45 minutes to an hour, something I could do during nap time. Um, it was really satisfying to be able to just get it done and get it out and get it in my hands. And Willa loves it too. So you know what? Win-win. And I am so glad I've got it. I wanted to show you two other books. So these are like ones I made three years ago, like two years ago, I guess. They're when she, Willa was little. So they have been around the block and they are still mega holding up. Like she, they've been taken on vacations. They've been shoved in her mouth and in bags. Like these things hold up over time. So I made two different books. One is the Daddy and Me book, which I made for Father's Day for um, my husband's first Father's Day. And it's a little story of like, um, Willa and her dad. They're very simple words that you can include in here. It's, it didn't have to be a long story. It's just like our first, our first portrait and I'm so like sleeping in your arms <laughs> and our family snuggles. It's just very simple things. And now Willa's always like monkey feet, like family, family hug. Like she makes up her own words. So it's very simple and it's something that the kid can read as they get older, but also shows them a glimpse into their life when they were little. And you know what? I don't have just one baby book. I've got many and it's pretty awesome. So just to like a little idea for you of a new way to do it. Um, and it's very amazing. I just love it. Um, the other thing that I was thinking about is this book. I need to redo it because there's a typo in here that's pretty funny, <laughs> but it hasn't been a big deal. Um, this is Willa's family and I created this book because all of our family lives out of town and her grandpa actually lives out of country and we've lost some so super important people in our lives that I want my daughter to know about that are in heaven and I really, it's important for me for her to see their faces and to know their stories. So this was a good way for me to introduce them without it being too intense, like talking about death and sad things all the time. So this is Willa's family and it's just a really nice way for her to get to know names and get to know herself and her dog and who lives in her family. So this is like, she loves this book and honestly I swear it's helped her know everybody in our family. So we got mommy and daddy and Cody 
and Grandma HT, who's really Grandpa HT. <laughs> so that's the typo that I need to fix. And it took me over a year to realize that I had a typo. Um, but the good news is, is Willa doesn't know how to read, so it doesn't really matter. I can make up any story here. And this is like her, um, her grandma and her auntie who are in heaven. And it's just so powerful for me to be able to flip to this page and she asks who's that and I get to tell her with a smile who these beautiful humans were that she never got to meet. Um, these are her other grandparents who are very much alive and well and are going to be coming to take care of her um, when the baby comes. So and her aunts and uncles and my, my great grandma who passed away who her middle name is after. Um, so there's, I mean, we have a huge family. So <laughs> Luckily, these books are pretty big and you can fit a lot of people in there. So I love it. I highly recommend this, especially if you don't have family close by and you're concerned about your little one being comfortable with the people when they come to town or getting to know them. So these are just a few ideas of like many ways you can make these books personalized. They are all completely customizable and it's super easy. So like go for it, man. I can't recommend it enough. And all of these are under 40 bucks. Like I think they're even cheaper sometimes and with the discount. I mean, you can't beat it. Like, <laughs> so I would love, like beyond love to answer your question. So if there's any ideas or if you want to run some ideas by me and give me some new ideas, I would love to hear them because I kind of can't stop making these things. So let's talk. All right. <laughs> Just shoot me a DM. I'm here all the time. All right. Thanks so much. And thank you, Pinhole Press, for helping hook me up with some new ideas here and making these, like this mama anxiety go away. Like my books are done. Thank you. <laughs>